Alright, welcome to the stream. Dead Rising 2, K0. Said I'd be back playing Dead Rising 2, K0 on yesterday's stream, just before it ended. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get through this as quick as humanly possible. And, uh, we will be on to Dead Rising 2. So, let's get into it. Alright, uh, let's go to options. I need how to play subtitles on, tutorials on. Yes, because I don't remember how to play this at all. Uh, brightness is probably fine. Audio, background music, effects volume. Alright. All right. Rebecca Chang reporting live from just outside Las Vegas. It has been almost 12 hours since the first reports of a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas. The death toll is estimated to be over 100,000 and as many as a staggering 1 million people may be infected. One million people. To ensure that the contagion does not spread, the military has set up a 50 mile perimeter outside Las Vegas. They have shoot to kill orders for anyone off the main roads. Military and government personnel are screening everyone at the roadblocks for allowing them to leave the quarantine area. Man, there he is. The man, the myth, and the legend. Just a cool, like a quality looking dude. Like, yeah, that's not good. I aspire to be as cool looking as Chuck Green someday. Shots, honey. But it's very important that you get this. I'm sorry, Katie. Danny, I don't like shots. You won't have to take another one for a long time. A whole 12 hours. Maybe we'll run out. Sorry, sweetie. Daddy's got a few more. This is not ominous at all. Katie, stay right here. Chuck. Hey! That's my truck! Stop! 
No, you dickhead. Try and save as many survivors as humanly possible, you know, that kind of deal, but uh, no Keith, guarantees. Daddy loves you so much. But where are you going? I have to go get some more Zombrex and figure out how to get us out of here. But no, Daddy, I don't even like Zombrex. I know, honey. But it's very important. You need another one before bedtime. You stay here. I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. You're not afraid of those bad people outside? Nothing's gonna stop me from keeping you safe. And that's why I love Chuck Green so much. Alright. Zombrex, yes. I remember I bought the uh, special edition. Me and my dad, we split the special edition because we both really wanted it. We got the uh, the box came with a little Zombrex syringe pen, which is pretty awesome, and the DVD of the like miniseries they made for it. Zombrex's job is sucks effective from becoming zombies. It is high in demand, expensive, and hard to find. Zombrex is still an experimental formula and only prevents zombification for 12 hours. Zombrex overdoses are deadly. Users must never take it earlier than prescribed. The Zombrex counter on your HUD shows how much you have at all times. Katie needs her next dose of Zombrex between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. If she doesn't get it, she will die. Check your watch to see how much time is left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. 7 a.m. Whole 12 hours. We got this. Oh, man. We're running in 30 frames, my dudes. Main instruments are located throughout Stowe Creek. The bright red doors are easily visible from a distance. The benches inside maintenance rooms will let you build powerful combo weapons. A maintenance room is always within reach. Just check your map. Maintenance rooms are always marked with the wrench icon. Chucking his infinite supply of duct tape. <laughs> combo cards give you a recipe to build powerful combo weapons. These cards you have found. Cards you found are all within the combo card screen. Killing with combo weapons gives you bonus PP. Rip. You can level up faster and kill more zombies. Try building more combo weapons using items from around Still Creek. They're easy to spot. They all have the wrench icon. Yes. Alternative oh. attack. Saw blades still can't be a thing. Where's the uh, propane tank and nails? I remember that. Propane tank and nails. Grab some orange juice. It's a drill and a bucket, right? I'm going to build as many as I can right now, at least. Need a bucket. 
I'm sure there's a bucket outside. We like need a gun to even do this. Yes, I'm gonna skip fun. that now from this point forward. Scratch card. I get what's the deal. Scratch cards let you know what you need to make a combo weapon, but they're not as good as combo cards. Scratch cards mean less prestige points from combo weapons, but also cannot perform strong attacks. Replace your scratch cards with real combo cards as soon as you can. I like it doesn't fucking tell you how to do that. It's just like, yeah, prevent it, you know, just, just get new ones, idiot. Like, how about game, how about you tell me what I'm supposed to do? How I'm supposed to get said combo card? If I'm not mistaken, to get combo cards, we just need to, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I can't think of the word right now. Ah, bucket. To get combo cards, I think it's through leveling up. It's either through leveling up or seeing the, like, actual version of said combo weapon. It's like if you find somebody who has, like, spiky guns or something like that. Drill bucket. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe we can't get up to the roof yet. There's a way up here. Oh, nope. We super totally can just get up here. There's a reason I wanted to come up here, and the reason is... Ah, yes, this one, drinking too much will make Chuck sick. I don't remember if that was a thing in the first game, but, uh... I feel like it might have been. Uh, the reason we come up here is because... Ah, that's right, I'm not crazy. They put a sniper rifle up here. And this ain't no fucking nonsense like in Dead Rising 1. In this game, sniper rifles are the real deal. Uh, what do you use purple spray paint for? I don't remember. We'll come back. Go back to the gas station. And yes, Dead Rising 2 cared a hell of a lot less about it. They just... Items will just respawn perpetually. Nice. I wish I had something to play with. Oh, I'm sorry, Katie. Oh, yeah, but I forgot. Because of the fact that everything resets, if you leave items in other places, they too will be despawned. That's fine. We'll smack this right there. We'll grab these. Yeah. There's a reason I keep making this. I promise. Oh, so whiskey, if I'm not mistaken, was it whiskey and newspaper? make Molotov cocktails? I swear that's what it is. If it's not, I'm gonna feel real stupid. But I'm pr I am think it's newspapers. Well, I'll come back and, and you know, when everything is destroyed. And I'll, I'll make another one. So if you're going to visit a bathroom to relieve yourself, you can save as often as you'd like, and it's a good idea to do so. Find the closet bathroom, find the closest, my bad, closest bathroom by looking for the save icon on your map. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, the f uh, Dead Rising 2 has auto saves.
<laughs> Man, Chuck is such a cool dude. So slow. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> if you get the combo card, I think it allows you to stick it to uh, zombies, like right on their back, and then when you shoot it, the zombie it'll explode. Yeah, you can go play the casino, but it's dumb. Oh, let's drop. Oh, yeah, there you go. Drill Bucket is a really... Oh, yeah, it's just a brutal fucking tool. Makes no sense how it works, but it's a cool thing. Diner way. So yeah, it's actually really nice playing uh, Dead Rising, like playing Dead Rising 2 stuff, because in Dead Rising 2, you didn't um, what's it called? Have to. I can't think of the word. So you didn't have the camera. So left trigger means you aim. You can't move with items like this, but uh, there's the blender. I'm dumb. I don't know how I missed that. Yes. There's a, a couple more mix things. Orange juice and milk still makes nectar. I don't I don't think nectar works yet. Yeah, every every single game has the uh, has to do the the big reveal. Uh, there's a pie we want. Oh yeah, bacon and chili. This is gonna make the exact thing that I want. Repulse. So when I drink this, it's gonna give me a, a buff. And it's gonna be, uh. Ooh, cash. It's gonna let me walk around zombies. It's gonna be great. There's a spike bat. And there's the alt attack. Get smacked. Alright. We'll have plenty of time to screw around with this later. For the time being, we've got to get Zombrex for Katie. I suppose a uh, flipped over ambulance. Yeah, this game doesn't follow the same like save and quit rules as Dead Rising 1 does. Blocked with wreckage and zombies. Search the quarantine zone for clues about what happened here. Search for Zombrex and find a way to escape from Stoke Creek. <laughs> Oh, there's just a truck that has like a bunch of like booze in the back of it.
Alright. Let's check the ambulance. soldier which doesn't spell out good things for us There you go, Chuck. This is my favorite part of this, is that Chuck just finds this broken piece of shit and just goes, I can fix this, and you're goddamn right he can. Military is coming at 9 p.m., and they will take Katie into quarantine if they find her. Get the damaged bike back to the gas station for repairs. Give Katie's ombrage by 8 p.m., repair the bike, and use it to escape Still Creek before the military arrives. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. See, now they just don't even give a shit. This thing is so much more control than it does. In Dead Rising 1. Just plow through the zombies. Boom. It's not going to kill them, but it'll work. Wait till you see how Frank, uh, Frank, how Chuck actually puts the shit back together. It's gonna have like duct tape all over the place. It's fucking great. Right. Because they can't have you actually go through the door. We need, like, a tire, some front spikes, an engine, gas. Hold on, honey. Everything's going to be I just think. fine. Daddy's got to go get a few things. Daddy, I'm so good. More for now. Daddy, anything. Goddamn right. He just incarnate. He's the best zombie survivalist. Frank. I check the bike parts. You need to find replacement parts for the bike before the shop to be easy to find. The bike parts screen in the pause menu to see your progress. So I got the frying pan. Let's grab this because, you know. Oop. Repulse finally wore off. We'll be fine. Okay, so now we basically just get to run around the entire town. There's going to be survivors and stuff. One group of survivors, if I'm not mistaken, is going to have the... What's it called? The... Oh, yep. Here we go.
go. Now Chuck knows the ways of the queen. And with this knowledge, he will become the master. I love this game so much. Look, it's Dick. You know, I really probably should just use the spike bat, but I, I just like swinging the frying pan. Uh, the only kind of weird problem I think I have with the Dead Rising game post Dead Rising 1 is there's something about Dead Rising 1's graphical fidelity that, I mean, and maybe they fixed it and updated it in the remaster. I don't think I would put money on the fact that they probably did. But uh, blood effects are not as good. Uh, like evident of, of Frank here. Not Frank. Um, Chuck. I'm going to keep doing that. Played too much Dead Rising 1. Um, Chuck just... He gets covered in blood like this, and it doesn't look really good. It doesn't look as realistic as it did in Dead Rising 1. I also, the zombies, they focus more on putting more zombies on the screen at one time to be like, look at these massive hordes. So you find duplicates a lot. Um, and on top of that, like, I don't know. Making judgment calls basically based off this older version of uh, a piece of tech, but it's hard because it seems like a graphical downgrade. Not everything seems photorealistic. All right, Dick, let's go. Um. Like, you'll notice things like when I use the frying pan, I, I sear the zombie's face. In Dead Rising 1, like, it covered the entire front of their face in black. And it actually kind of looked, like, almost realistic. I mean, it wasn't because, you know, that wouldn't look like that. But, uh... Yeah, that's that's kind of what I mean. Is that it's it's weird. It has an almost photorealistic quality to it in the first game, but in this one, in like Dead Rising 2 and everything, it kind of almost goes campier. Like the people look better, like the survivors kind of everybody looks more like video game characters than like actual like game like characters. It's very very strange. Uh, handgun. Don't need the electric rake. He does sell an assault rifle. And he sells Zombrex for 25000 There is a way, if I'm not mistaken, to get back there, I think. Because he has those, uh, those lamps. Maybe it's on the last day. Maybe I'm stupid. The real question is, there's no door here. It doesn't seem to be, at least. So how does he even get in there? Especially with all the barbed wire, you know? But, at least now we know where the, uh, the tire is. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. Dead Rising 3 looks phenomenal, I think. It it kind of blurs the line between looking like um, Dead Rising 2 set up in a way where like Dead Rising 2 looks very, very strange. 
There's something about it I can't quite explain. But Dead Rising 3 looks like... The people look like people. They still look like weird video game people. But they, they look more like people than people in the, uh, Dead Rising 2. I just feel like Dead Rising 2 went goofier. There's no problem with that. Because I kind of like the unrealistic nature of, of the Dead Rising 2 setup. But... Oh, wait, can I make the hacker in this game? Or, it, well, in... I say in this game. I mean, like, in, Dead Ri in the actual full release of Dead Rising 2. Because this was kind of like a paid demo, almost. Um, but was like a prologue. You could get a thing called the hacker in the full game that uh, was a flashlight and some computer parts. And you could touch it to... Uh, ATMs, and it, it, it wouldn't destroy the ATM, I don't think, maybe I'm wrong, it wouldn't destroy the ATM, and it would shoot out more money. Oh, Bob, that's who was yelling at me, Bob, 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 yes, we'll go talk to Bob, Bob is a good, right, oh no, Bob stays up there, I forgot, Bob stays up there, and he doesn't move. And the only when he does, it's to um, what's it called? It's to you have to find his daughter, I think, before he'll go anywhere. Bowling pin. I'm gonna try and get all the. Right now. Shut. What's a beer? Uh, another frying pan. Uh, all right. But I think at the same time. Dead Rising 2 went for a, a much more like campy, colorful variation instead of a very hyper realistic vision. But at the same time, I feel like Dead Rising 3 goes for a pseudo mix of both, where it hyper focuses on a lot of the more ridiculous parts. Which, you know, isn't bad. I like Dead Rising 3 a lot. I like every mainline Dead Rising. Pretty much every mainline Dead Rising up until 4, I'd say. Even then, like, I still... I'll give 4 a lot of shit for, uh... Being a, almost too different. But... Really interesting things that I, I don't think a lot of people banked on them doing. There we go. I was having so much trouble getting up here. Jesus. I'm saying there's like a key up here or something. Or maybe that's not until later. I keep forgetting that this... After playing so much Dead Rising, I keep forgetting that this uses like a uh, more traditionalistic... Ah, here we go. What is this? Shed key. Oh, yes, there's something in the shed. I don't remember what it is, but there is something in the shed. Oh, I'm about to die.
Oh, it's the beer in the hard hat makes the beer hat. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, they aren't here yet, but there is some survivors in this area, I think, at some point. Well, I know that there's at least survivors that have items, because there's a group of survivors, the only way to get the handlebars is you have to get a guy like a sword or something. You have to get him something better than his handlebars because he's like, yeah, my handlebars have been working out pretty well, man. So he's like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, Alright. Now, for the most part, I remember where... Crap. Yeah, I figured that was locked. Oh, because I gotta go get on top of this roof. I gotta see if I can remember how to do that. I think I do. I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, yes. The, the ultimate heavy weapon. The ultimate badass combo weapon is not in this version. They saved it for a full release, for retail. The Defiler. The Defiler is the best fucking weapon of all time. So, most people will tell you, at least. Uh, I will tell you that, because the Defiler is amazing. The Defiler is a fire axe, and a, uh... Uh, what's it called? Sledgehammer. Together, they make the Defiler, which is just amazing. Hey, Howdy, fella! Didn't think you'd notice me up here. My name's Bob Blackrock. That's a cool ass name. What are we doing up here? I barricaded the gas station. It should be safe there. No siree, Buster. My daughter's missing. I ain't moving till I find her. If you like. See what he said. As you explore Cell Creek, you will uncover missions. Each mission has a set time limit. You can track the time limits on the mission queue on the HUD or in the watch screen. Messages will lead you to survivors of the zombie outbreak scattered around Still Creek. Oh, so yeah, okay. If I see anything worthwhile, you can come talk to me and I'll give you the scoop. And okay, so this is our O. This guy basically functions like Otis did in Dead Rising 1, where uh, the only difference is because we don't have a walkie-talkie. So he's, uh, he, when he sees something, which is going to be like, you know, survivors and stuff, when he sees survivors, he's going to uh, start yelling at us like he was, you know, a few minutes ago before we came and talked to him. That'll be like the the thing. That's that's our cue that he knows something or something's happened. He's found somebody. And if you do all this hardcore parkour, you'll wind up coming up here. And if you drop down in here. Take some more damage. Surprise. We have weapons. Shotgun. Oh, what is the shotgun? Shotgun and a pitchfork. Door unlocked, so that's good. Shotgun and a pitchfork. Get your hunt and jacket. Bad. I wish they had this jacket without the... Uh, the vest on. I know it's a hunting jacket, but still, it'd be kind of awesome if you could just have a cool, like, jacket type thing. Um, almost like a bomber jacket. Fausto! These fucking people. 
these fucking people, man, I'll tell you what. that so we can talk to these people in peace. Hey, you guys okay? Oh, my Fausto, look, another survivor. Hi, I'm Gemini and this is Fausto. We get caught in the roadblock and it's leave our Vegas winnings. That's a shame. Listen, I know a safe place I can take you to. That would be great. I'll even make it worth your while. Please. Man, I need more booze. I think you've had enough. Anywhere until I get a friggin' drink. Which translates to... I don't need the sniper rifle. It's cool, but I don't need it. Which translates to... Have a beer. Thanks, pal. Looks tasty. Pal, that should do you. It's not safe out here, especially not for you. Let's get you to a safe place. One, one more drink. I'm still too thirsty. I want to give him the whiskey. I guess there's no choice. Ah, uh, there's a beer right there. Fuck. What a dumbass. Two things of alcohol is gonna make. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, this, this is a 50-50 this is challenge. It healed me, but now I'm going to throw up a whole bunch. The reason that sucks is because now, every time I puke, I'm going to drop whatever I'm holding at the time. Puking rally, now I'm good to go. I I guess I'll come with you. Oh, hell yes. It's supposed to be two things that okay, two of the same alcohol will make painkiller. Painkiller is good because it basically means you're um, not Im Keep close, immune to damage. But you take increased shit. You take less damage. The gas is at the gas station. Faster! Keep moving! I'm down with that. Hurry up! Go Let's over there! Go. I'm too young to die! This is so disgusting! As we can move. Ah, Jesus. Suck <laughs> that. Why not? Stay close. Without a doubt, man. Man, at least the survivors in Dead Rising 2 are way less dumb than they are in Dead Rising 1. Spam why? Keep close! Let's go! We gotta go! Let's go! It's like, dude, Jesus Christ. Really, thanks. You're welcome. Hope this helps you. Thanks for your kindness. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. And there's our 25,000 for Zombrax. And now I know what I mean, I don't know. There's a reason I'm not gonna buy the wheel first, and I'm gonna buy the Zombrex. And it's because the wheel cheap.
like only 2,500, 25,000. There's a survivor, if I'm going to try and get all the survivors, which I'm trying to. If I'm going to get all the survivors in this, you need to get a, Zombra, a second thing of Zombrex for a Survivor Lady. Which, again, I know sounds weird, but tr just trust me. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. That's so weird. Dead Rising 3 just added so many mechanics that Dead Rising, in a way, doesn't need. Like, there's a sprint, so there's no speed up when you level up. And if can, when you level up, you don't get uh, random stat boosts. Get whatever you want. They give you skill points and the skill points on things. Bingo. Two things is ombre. And double check the price of the tire. The uh, tire is five thousand. I can buy pretty goddamn easily. Bobo. Did you see anything? Nope. Bob didn't see anything. Bob's uh where am I going? Ah, oh, I remember. I'm trying to Trying to get back here, yes, into this casino. Close that. I'm the handyman. Come to smash. Stay down, Zombo. Only five hundred, eh? Yeah, so it's kind of neat that the zombies are attracted to the noise that the uh, casino machines make. That's why they're like, rubbing up against them. And if you destroy them, like I just did right there, because the um, the hit went. Uh, because Dead Rising is one of them weird games where you can hit people through walls, it caused me to break the other side of the casino slot machines. So. Don't I oh know the bike right, okay. Remember where the bike forks are now. They're in the shed. That's why I went and got the shed key. Now we go to the Still Creek pawn shop, we'll get the the wheel. Yes. the reason the wheel doesn't disappear from the pawn shop, the reason all of the items don't disappear from the pawn shop, including the wheel, is because as you can see, the wheel is a weapon. And you can break the wheel. That is an actual thing you can, in fact, do. So you kind of want to not break the wheel, you know. But in the off chance, you, like, have to the game's pretty lenient. It'll give you, you know, you can just get another 5,000, which is not hard to do. You get your 5,000 out of the uh, little casino there. And then you're all set. You're good to go. And then you can get a new wheel. So. We've got the wheel. We've got the gas. I know where the engine block is. The engine block is behind the movie theater, which is really dumb, but well, that's how the game goes, I guess. Drink this whiskey because I don't want to use my painkiller because uh, I, if I was smart, I would try and save up all my painkiller because I know how this game ends and it ends with a boss fight is pretty hard if you're not like ready with like guns and stuff uh, the boss fight at the end of this is super difficult actually it took me a few tries all right we're almost halfway through 
Bob's trying to wave us down, so that means there's new survivors on the field. Alright, let's go talk to him. See what the dealio is. Hopefully it's the uh, the kids towards the back of town with the handlebars. That's the one good thing about some of the items. Some of the items, uh, well, the handlebars at least, you can put away in your inventory. Some pretty girlies in the brawling alley. You should help those ladies out. Okay, he just wants me to go to the bowling alley. Alright. Uh, where's the shed? Oh, the sh isn't the shed all the way down here? I think it is. There's not as many death animations in Dead Rising 2 as there are in Dead Rising 1. And they're not as, like, full-fledged and realistic. Get off. I'm gonna have to use my... No, I won't. Eat that hot dog. This large soda. And they put two things of nails in here because, of course, they do. You know damn well why they put two things of nails in here. Because they put that baseball bat outside. Alright. We'll get the uh, bike prongs, bike forks, and then we will, uh... Bike forks. Yeah, we'll take these bike forks, and we'll go talk to those ladies inside the bowling alley. And then we'll guide them back. Like, do you think that 12 hours in this is, like, a lot? You know what I mean? Like, you, you would think. But it, it really, it isn't. They give you just enough time to do everything, you know? Alright, Tia, what happened? Here, girls are getting. No, we are not! This is the worst Staggot ever! We went to Las Vegas for our friend Sharon Staggot, and we thought she hooked up with a guy. It turned out he wasn't kissing her, he was biting her! So you get the hell out of Vegas! They said Sharon was going to turn into a zombie, so I took her to quarantine. We want to find her, but we're too scared to leave. Her wedding is tomorrow, and she's marrying my brother. He'll kill me if she doesn't show. Look, I know a safe place. You better come with me, and I'll go look for your friend. We're not leaving this until Sharon is back with us. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I'll, uh... I'll keep the bike forks here. But I'm sure you probably saw on my last stream that um, Dead Rising 1, you could do little, little things that gave you like bonus XP. Like in the Paradise Mall, Paradise Plaza, if you go and you hit that servo bot statue in that kid's, um, that kid's shop, if you align the, the top just right, it'll give you like 10,000 XP or something like that. You can do that in this game as well. But there, the, the the difference is in Dead Rising 2. There's so many more of those to do. There's you can play bowling, for instance. If I wanted to, I could go back to that bowling alley and the alleys that had pins stacked up perfectly. I could use a bowling ball and knock those pins over. 
And if I do that, it's actually kind of awesome because, uh, you know, then you get to do that, you know. You get XP for doing it, you know. Kind of like the, uh, like the treadmill, punching the sandbags. You wouldn't have to be Sharon, would you? Yeah, I'm Sharon, and no, I'm not feeling so hot. Wait, how'd you know my name? I ran into your two friends. They're looking for you. Wait, really? They're alive? I really want to be with them, but because of my condition, I'm afraid of putting them in danger. Do you have any Zombrax? Luckily for you! Back with my friends. I can't wait to see right my on. friends again. <sighs> yeah! So Chuck carries women like a real man. Hey, combo card acquired. All right. Oh, you can't make that in this one. Ah, oh, that's slightly <laughs> Sharon, I really hope you don't need me to carry you, because I need to carry those bike forks. And if it's down to carrying you or the bike forks, I'm picking the bike forks. No, he's not flagging us. Okay. You guys come to the safe house with me now? Yeah, we'll come with you. Don't fall behind. Wait, I wonder. Forget it. Why you gotta be so rude? Hmm. Now, nah, whatever, I can get the bike forks back. It's not that big of a deal. with me keep moving luckily survivors in this game move a bit faster I'm a little disappointed I couldn't even give them the bike forks stick to me come on Still there? I think there's either 25 or 30 people to save. Maybe that's a gross overstatement. Keep it there's moving. not nearly that many. Oh, oh, yes. I forgot that in, in this game, when they're close enough to the uh, doors, it gives, it gives them an icon over their picture, their portrait. Thank you so, so much. All right. Because you're not supposed to get to a very high level in this, they don't give you a whole hell of a lot of XP for uh, doing it. For saving, like, well, I say doing it. I mean saving survivors.
Jesus, we do not have a whole hell of a lot of time. Really thought we'd have to be honest. <sighs> Damn it, Bob. Why are you flagging me down? Yeah, I'm hey there. Uh, Two young hooligans behind the department store. Like part of his weapon. Air wig. That's what I like to hear. Fortunately, I know I defense for a fact. Or... Um, cowboy hat. Dude. I come sweet. Are you fucking... S I, I don't... Okay. Crust up. Please, dude. I think I have the one that you got there. This thing, weapon, bro. I'm gonna need a better weapon to beat this up. Have one. Wicked. All right. Handlebars. Got a bike with no handle. Do that one day. Right on. We're gonna make a detour real quick though, because I need to go get the bike forks. I'll just yell at them to go wait by the door. Keep going. Wait there. Got it. Yeah. All right. Get out of my way. I don't think they're going to be where I left them, but I'm gonna check just to be sure. I think once you leave an area, everything resets. Okay, yeah, bike forks definitely not here. Just didn't want to run all the way over here if I didn't have to. Got my one Zombrex. So now, after I get this, all I'll need to do is. I guess. Oh, God. Out of my way, please, and thank you. Should have just made another repulse, to be honest. This is not a strategy anymore, FYI. You cannot just jump and not get hit like you, you really could in Dead Rising 1. It wasn't the best strategy in Dead Rising 1, but it was helpful nonetheless. See, in, in this one, they made it so that uh, even if they, like, lunge at you and miss, if they hit your feet because you're jumping, it'll still do damage. Boom, 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 boom.
Well, I appreciate it. Uh, and Chuck Green and Still Creek. Who'd have thought? I mean, somebody probably. There we go. I got the IED combo card. It is giving me two. It's giving me two life blocks this whole time, and not that I'm like, ugh, fuck life blocks. But like, dude, come on! I don't want life blocks, bro. I want that sweet, sweet inventory increase, you know? Nice. Do you have any tissues? It's way more useful to me in the current situation. Man, take me from the ocean. Right. Any bow? Now, Bob would have waved me down by now if there was something. I know where his daughter is going to be, and it's going to be a tight situation, but. Wow, that throw was so wimpy from Chuck. I'm gonna keep doing that every single time. Moderately annoying. We'll go through the movie theater just for, for the fun of it. Excuse me! Not just any knife. A bowing friend I had called it. Cool. Alright, up this. Keep swinging it to be. Oh, there's my fucked up. Question mark? No, damn, he's understandable. <laughs> you know, you'd think maybe that's not the place you want to sit when you're trying to not entice zombies to come try and eat you. Like, I'm just saying, Gemini's just standing there. By the fence, just chilling. Like, hey, what's up? Zombies, just sitting in the fence. Whatever, I don't even, I don't even care. Engine cutscene. Watch this. Nice place to visit, but I ain't gonna die here. <laughs> Chuck, just not me. Looks good. And Katie's all like, yo, bikes, bro. Yeah, check me, best daughter. Save here, cause God knows. How's his boss? Alright. Let's go back. 
have enjoyed my time. Should go get. I I have to go talk to. I was off. There's like 12 servers. I thought there was like a while since I'd be honest. But I play Kate that boost. Gonna wave Bob. No. Okay. Now, not mistaken. Wait. Well, might be dealt. Uh, dog shows up. Again, I don't remember if I'm right about that, but I think I am. I think she shows up at 7 o'clock, and she shows up in that, that store. I haven't previously opened that store. Like, you, you have to figure it all put in there. Um, I'm lazy. What we're... Well, we will... Weapon. Move. She can make. Oh, I forgot. About and there. Oh. Pitchfork is. I'm crazy. Stuff. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. Great. Is the thick. Throw it. Would it? You can't. 